Hi everyone, I'm Gemma and I thought I would give you a quick video about my experience with the Thrive Programme. So, um, I was a metaphobic from a very small age, but it didn't really affect my, my life day to day. It was mainly at night time where I was, would panic. Um, it really started when I was 14. I suffered from um, extreme anxiety, panic, depression. Uh, I was still at school and I didn't want to go so I would make up excuses that I wasn't well in the morning to stay off school. I become, when I did go to school I would be coming home unwell most weeks. You know it was just this, it was a cycle and I'd be going to the doctors and they wouldn't be finding anything wrong with me because it was anxiety. Um, and it, it kind of went on there, it went on for a good few years where it was just that exact, just like that. Um, I did go to college but I didn't last very long due to the, my anxiety and the depression and the panic. Oh, it, the uh, words can't describe how, how horrible it was really. Um, so when I dropped out of college, um, I didn't go out. I just stayed at home all the time. Um, I didn't want my mum to go to work. I would sit in front of the front door and uh, so she couldn't leave because I was convinced that if she left then something bad would happen to me and I wouldn't be able to cope with that. Um, so that went on for a while too, me walking the front door. Um, I would only leave the house if it was with my mum or my grand because to me they were my safe people. So I just wouldn't leave the house. Other than that, I wouldn't go on buses, I wouldn't see friends. All my friends left me due for my anxiety so I had no social circle. It was it was horrible, but um, and the reason that I I saw many therapists due to this, and they just kept telling me that sick was a part of life. They weren't really understanding that to me that I needed help because of the heart sickness. And they just told me that there was no cure, which was just unbearable. I just didn't want to be alive. I said that many times. I fought it. You know, it was, it, life was just, I was just going day by day. It really just wasn't life. I wasn't living life. Anyway, the reason that I found the full Thrive Program was because my mum came down with a bout of food poisoning. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night, it was about one o'clock I think, to her being sick, the sound. And my body went into extreme panic. I created panic. I created anxiety, I phoned my dad and I was in complete panic, I was like, and crying, you know, all the sorts, and he came up and collected me and I stayed at his for the night. I then um, moved out and, because I couldn't stay at home in that my mind, I moved out to my grandma's and I stayed with her for the week. I did attempt coming home, but my anxiety was just too surreal. And even after my mum got better, I was always listening out, watching out, making what were we eating, was everything clean, you know, it was just, so um, I decided that I needed to do something, I decided that I couldn't live my life like this anymore, that there had to be something out there. So that was when I went to Google, my saviour, and I typed in emetophobia. And apparently that's very popular because Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive by Rob came up, uh, which really was a lifesaver, I can tell you. Um, what he's written in the programme, it's like it's a, it's a self-help book and you don't really think those work, but this programme has been so bad, bad, researched badly, you know, he knows his stuff, he knows you. You know, he might not personally know you, but he knows how your mind works. He knows how we have emetophobia and how we can stop having emetophobia, anxiety, depression, all these horrible symptoms. He knows. And that's why this book and this program works. He's got the, all the chapters and all the exercises to go right in to explain into why you have created this, why this is there in you. And it just, it changed my life, honestly. Um, the exercises, well, I only did up to chapter four, which is the self-esteem chapter, and I was over the moon. I was 
happy. I felt like I was doing so much better that I didn't think I needed to do it anymore. Stupidly. Um, I, sh I did need the programme. I did need the full book because I fell back down uh, that slope once I stopped doing the exercises because I hadn't done the full, I hadn't completed the programme, I didn't really know and so I just went back downhill and it was a few months even before I decided that I needed to pick it back up again and then I contacted a consultant called Morgan and she was just amazing, she knows the book just as well you know, she knew exactly how to explain things to me if I wasn't understanding stuff and she taught me about making my own belief wall to see what I believe about myself. You know, just another wee boost, kind of. I decided to put up post-it notes up around my house um, to help me remember that I was in control. I have a mantra posted up in my bedroom that I would say to myself every morning. I even made my own playlist and it just makes some just a simple things that upbeat you uh, you know they help make you feel good as well as actually doing the exercises in your mind and you just have to keep practicing you know it's not a quick fix by any by any standard but if you just keep working on the exercises in the book uh, they really really work I couldn't believe uh, I couldn't believe it. I was learning about how I created it my belief systems my unhelpful thinking styles which I had lots of um my locus of control which uh, I hadn't even heard of until Thrive and when I started Thrive I was 27 out of 30 and now I'm sitting at free like it's just unbelievable and I was learning about my self-esteem which was really low which is now high really high and my social anxiety was really high but it's now low because I've just been doing these wee bits and each day and, and every time you make an achievement it just makes you feel good you just feel really proud of yourself and you just know when you're getting better. It's not about when you're not a metaphor, because it's about the journey that we go through getting there because we're doing small achievements each day and it really, it makes a difference. It really does. I couldn't recommend Thrive more because, you know what, it will help you cure it. It won't cure it for you. It will help you do it yourself because you can do it. And you know what, because now... um. I'm going on buses and I avoided those things like the plague and I've got a driving test coming up which you know you wouldn't have seen me doing that at all Um, I'm going to get my nails done next week and I never I've never gone out I've never had my nails done before so no you know Rob has just taught me all of these skills that I can do and and it's in me now. I am thriving and I'm a metaphobia free and I'm living my life. I'm doing more days at my volunteering school. Even the other day this little girl gagged and I didn't even batter an eyelid, which I would have been complete panic, anxiety would have been running through me, but not at all. And it's all thanks to this program, this health self help book. It tells you everything you need to know that your mind it honestly if if you're sitting here and you're not living the life you want to, then you need to buy the book. You really do. You need to buy the book. You need to study it. And you just need to keep doing, practicing the exercises. You really understand how it, and how your mind works. And it will work for you. And you will live the life you want. It's possible. It's out there. And you can totally do it. Just like I did. Good. Thank you. Bye.